Hey guys, it's Duck Tape Susie. I had an updates video earlier and somebody had asked me to do a bow pen tutorial if they had seen in that. So what we're going to make is this bow pen right here. Uh, so these are the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need some sort of cutting surface, an ink pen, um, some sort of X-Acto knife or scissors, a ruler, and one to two colors of duct tape. So to get started, you're going to need two strips of tape is the color that you're going to use to make your bow. You're going to want two six inch strips, which I already pre-cut here, like that. Um, you're going to take the one piece, flip it over sticky side up, take your second piece, and you're going to lay it down leaving a one fourth inch sticky. So, like that, that way you'll have sticky on, oops, you'll sticky on this edge and on this edge. So now you're just going to fold those up, and this will make it so that way your bow don't have any sticky edges. And I seen this bow, how to make a bow tutorial on Kids Lids channel a while ago, and this is how she does it. So you have your first piece already made. Now all you need is a one three inch piece of tape that you're going to use for your pen color. I'm choosing black because that's what I do with this one. And now I'm going to cut three half inch strips off from this three inch. So there's one. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be really quiet when I'm sleeping. Two. Oops. And three. Okay, so you take one of these strips, you place it on one of your ends here. You're going to leave half on it and half off, so you should have sticky hair. Now what you're going to do is kind of curve it, like a cuff in a way. Place it down. You want to line it up the best that you can. And then you're going to fold over your remaining sticky. Now what you're going to do is um, on your cutting mat, line it up so that way your your center, where you just use that piece of that strip of tape, is um, lined up straight. You're going to fold this in half, like that, and then you're going to fold it back towards you in half, like this. Flip it over and fold onto it. So what you have now is a bow. Kind of looks like it's sandwiched here. You can even pinch it if you're not familiar with making these. And you're going to take your next one fourth inch strip of tape and place it right where you placed your black tape before. You should have a little guide you can see kind of right there that will show you that's the middle part of the bow. <clears throat> Which is really hard to do on a camera. that. Mine's not lined up, but you're just going to wrap it around to secure it in place. And mine's not even. So this may take a few tries of getting used to. Um, for me it's usually not as difficult, but I'm looking through a camera and it's kind of late. I have no daylight here at all. So as you can see, you're just going to wrap it all the way around, continue wrapping it until your piece of tape is gone. So now what you have is a bow. Take your ink pen you're planning on using, your next one fourth inch strip of tape, place it right on the top of your bow, like that. Fold down your sides, and what you should have is kind of like a place right here. And this is where you're going to stick your pen right inside the center like that. whoops right 
like that and you're going to fold up your sticky edges that you have and then you're just going to um, make sure that it's all stuck to your pen you're going to cover this up so it's okay you want to make sure your bow is centered like that so next you're going to take another strip of tape Everybody's ink pen is going to be slightly different than the next person's. It just depends on which kind you're using. So my ink pen, I'm going to line up to the very end right up here, to the end of the tape. And where my cap is right here, I'm going to cut right there. And sorry for my squeaky chair. this to be a straight line. You don't want any extra tape. Take your strip of tape, line it up to your top of your belt. Actually, it's probably easier if you take the end of your pen, line it up towards the bottom there, push it upward like that, and now you're just going to make sure you it's all stuck down on all edges because you don't want any wrinkles. And then you're just going to continue wrapping that strip around your pen. Making sure you're not getting any wrinkles or air bubbles or anything like that. So what you have here now is a duct tape bow pen and your cap won't be interfering with your tape because you pre-measured it. And so I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you could leave a comment down below. You can inbox me or you can email me at ducttapesusie at gmail.com. And so here are some more examples of some of the pens that I made. So there it is. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.